Hi everyone, my name is Grace and this is Training with Grace Yoga. Today I'm going to take you through different variations of Chaturanga Dandasana. I'm also going to take you through the basics of a sun A with the different variations of Chaturanga. So when you're ready, meet me on your mat. Today we're going to begin in child's pose. So go ahead and bring your knees out wide to your mat, your big toes to touch, and extend your arms out in front of you, resting your forehead down to your yoga mat. Just take a moment to bring awareness to your breath. Through your nose, take a deep breath in. And through your mouth, exhale. Through your nose, take another deep breath in. Through your nose, exhale. Now seal your lips and begin to breathe in and out through your nose. Lift your tongue to the roof of your mouth and add slight constriction to the back of your throat. Your breath will become coarse, sounding similar to ocean waves. So through your nose, take a deep breath in. Through your nose, audible exhale. Through your nose, take another deep breath in. Through your nose, audible exhale. Now continue your breath like this. On your next inhale, press up to tabletop, stacking your shoulders over your wrists and your hips over your knees, bringing your knees to hip width distance apart. Inhale, cow pose, drop your belly down to the earth, shine your chest and neck up to the sky. And exhale, cat pose, press through your palms, rounding your spine up to the sky, allowing your head and neck to hang heavy. Now continue cat cow with your own breath. Close your eyes, tune inward, noticing how your body feels as you show up to your practice. Notice how it feels to match your breath with your movement. On your next inhale, come to a neutral spine. Tuck your toes and exhale, downward facing dog, send your hips up and back behind you. Press down through your palms to send your chest towards your thighs. Relax your shoulders from your ears and let your head and neck hang heavy. Bring your feet to hip width distance apart. Feel free to pedal out your down dog, bending and straightening one leg at a time. Bring your down dog to stillness. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, ragdoll pose. Step your toes directly behind your wrist. From here, bend your knees so much that your torso can rest on your thighs. Let your head and neck hang heavy. Option to grab opposite elbows and gently sway side to side. Slowly bring yourself to stillness and shift your weight from your heels into your toes. Feel the deeper stretch in your hamstrings. Release your palms down to the earth and heel toe your feet together. Your toes touch your heels are a sliver apart. And very slowly inhale, rise up to standing. Your head and then come up last. Once you arrive to standing, inhale your shoulders up by your ears and exhale, send them down behind you. Inhale, mountain pose. Bring your biceps up by your ears. Breathe here. Ground down through the four corners of each foot. To engage your legs, squeeze your quad muscles and lift them up off of your kneecaps. 
Draw your tailbone down and tuck your tummy in and relax your shoulders from your ears. Take another deep breath in. Exhale, baby back bend, goal post your arms. Take a deep breath in. Stay here for your exhale. Squeeze your glutes to avoid from dumping in your low back. Lift your chest up to the sky. Take a deep breath in. Stay here for your exhale. Inhale, mountain pose. And exhale, swan dive forward, bending your knees as you reach down towards your toes. And inhale, halfway lift. Bring your palms to your shins and breathe here. Now, send your gaze directly down about six inches in front of your toes, bringing your chin down to your chest. Kiss your shoulder blades together to neutralize your spine and create a flat tabletop. Now, take another deep breath in and exhale. Come on down to your mat and have a seat. This is the part where I'm going to walk you through the different variations for Chaturanga Dandasana so that you can find what's best for you. So, a regular Chaturanga Dandasana, what you'll do is you'll come from halfway lift, exhale, plant your palms down to the earth, step your feet back to high plank. Inhale, shift your weight forward, and exhale, lower down halfway, bringing your shoulder to your elbow height. Flip the tops of your feet to the earth, and inhale, upward facing dog, keeping your quads lifted up off of your mat, and peeling your shoulders away from your ears. Exhale, downward facing dog, send your hips up and back as you roll over your toes and press down through your palms to send your chest towards your thighs. Now, the second option of Chaturanga Dandasana, from halfway lift, plant your palms, step your feet back, drop down to your knees, lower down halfway, and inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. The next variation we have from halfway lift, Plant your palms, step your feet back to high plank. Lower all the way down your belly. And inhale, baby cobra. Peel your chest up off of your mat. Exhale, tabletop to downward facing dog. Now for our last variation from halfway lift, plant your palms, step your feet back. Drop down to your knees. And inhale, cow pose, drop your belly down to the mat. And exhale, cat to downward facing dog. So find the variation that feels best for you. And when you're ready, meet me in halfway lift. From halfway lift, take a deep breath in. Exhale, chaturanga dandasana, plant your palms, step your feet back, and take whatever variation of the flow feels best for you. We're going to go through Chaturanga a couple times, so feel free to switch it up each time until you feel uh, which one is best for you. Now we'll flow sun a breath to movement. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat, toes touch. And inhale, mountain pose, rise up to standing, biceps come up by your ears. Exhale, baby back bend, goal post your arms. And inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift, kiss your shoulder blades together. Exhale, chaturanga dandasana, plant your palms, step your feet back. Try out a different version of chaturanga dandasana. And meet in downward facing dog. One more time through sun A, inhale, knees forward, exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, mountain pose, rise up to standing. Exhale, baby back bend, goal post your arms. Inhale, mountain pose, exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift, kiss your shoulder blades together. And exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Step your feet back and try another flow. 
See what feels the best in your body. Take what works and leave the rest. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. From downward facing dog, come on down to your knees. Now that was our basic sun A flow with a few different variations of Chaturanga Dandasana. Let me know down below in the comments what you thought about the different variations. Maybe one was brand new to you today. Let me know how it felt for you. And also, if you'd like to unlock my longer yoga flows, you can find the step-by-step -step directions in the description of this video. And you can have the access to those videos to do them today. Thank you so much for taking time to flow with me today. Namaste.